Hello and welcome back to Nancy Drew Shatter at the Water's Edge, episode 6 or 7, I don't know. Last episode we struggled with puzzles, and uh, this episode is going to be more, you know, investigating and stuff. Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, is there anything outside? Oh, we can go outside now. Okay, music, stop. 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 Now, supposedly, she works from 5 to 7 p.m. But first, we are going to call Bess and George so we can ask them stuff, because we didn't do that Hi. last episode. I looked in this mirror, and instead of seeing my reflection, I saw a ghostly image. Ugh, creepy. Cool. Actually, I'm going to side with Bess on this one. No, I've heard about stuff like this before. There's a thing you can do to the glass to throw a false image, but it's a really fussy process. It's hard to do without breaking the mirror. Yeah, the mirror broke. So, do you think it's possible it was rigged? More possible than the other option. How's the expo going, George? It's crazy. I've never seen so many clever people in one space. I'm definitely dealing with a little bit of that small fish, large pond anxiety. I'm still trying to get tickets for you, but it's not looking good. That's okay. Thanks for trying. Have you seen the robotic cats they have here? I love those! I don't know if they're cute or creepy, but I love them anyway. So Iwako <laughs> has one. It's cute, but it's a little oh. aggressive. Don't it's in guard hit me with your gay stick. There's a way to override that, some sort of code word. Right. I need to figure out what it is. Hmm. I bet if I check around the expo, I, like I can like find someone who knows. That would be amazing. Like Thanks. Anytime. <laughs> Need anything else? Hey. Hey. I could really a use a, a gay hint. stick. Watch out. Uh, oh, never mind. Anything else? Legitly scared. I'll stop okay. bugging you now. Cool. Bye, Nancy. <laughs> Hit annoying straight people with the gay stick. Yes. Better watch out. I'm gonna hit you with the gay stick. <laughs> I'm gonna take this to school with me one day. I'm gonna be like, stop being so fucking straight. Stop it. Ooh. Just wax my my peers with the gay stick. Yes. Sorry, I'm having fun with my phone. Okay. Anyway, hey turtle. Um. Turtle. We are going to go to bed and see what's gonna happen. Let's see, she gets home at seven. How did it get so late already? I, I should get, get to bed. bed. I bet there's gonna be a spoopy. No spoopy? Oh. Mm. <laughs> Yuck, headphone acne. Alright, do I have any more work to do? No? Not surprising. Okay, check outside. Nighttime. Daytime! Nighttime! Daytime! <laughs> okay. So now we should. Hello? Do you think that the Riacon is haunted? By what? Ghosts? No. Ghosts aren't real, Nancy. Okay. I'm sorry. The mirror broke when I was in the bath, but before it broke... I'm safe before I ask this next question. I saw the image of a woman who wasn't in the room with me. And then Don't like, worry, Nancy. See. I'm so sure it was nothing. I have learned how to take care of it right away. Good job. Until then, no. please stay away. I don't want you to get hurt. But I saw something. I'm sure of it. You work too hard, Nancy san. Up too late, off to teach so early. You must rest more. Your judgment suffers if you do not get enough rest. I know what I saw. <gasps> Nancy san, please. I have to ask you to let me get back to work. Jeez. Oh hey, there's only two more guests left. Me and the Come student named later. Williams. Stop with the music. It's so fucking creepy. God damn. Alright. Um, what will we be doing this round? Hello. So. I'm done with another Renograms puzzle. Here you go. Tank. 
Thanks for repairing my screen. That was pretty embarrassing. Tank. Oh, no problem. Easy fix. Just took a little steam to loosen the paper, a little new glue. No one will ever be able to tell. Just don't do it again. Or at least wait until the paper cuts heal. Ooh. I think thinking about paper cuts is way worse than getting them. Why did I bring it up? I'll stop bugging you now. Bye. Okay. I think we need to go explore on the train. Which is my favorite part about this game. Because you get to go all over Japan. Okay. I need a dictionary to translate that. God damn it. So we're going to Nagoya. Um, crap. Where are we supposed to be going? Mm. Okay. Misawa, Nagoya, Otsu, Eomori, Kochi, Tochigi, Seito, Niigata, Fuji, I believe Iga. Iga. And Motsu. Alright. <laughs> Kobe. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Go back over there. Interesting. Okay. This looks important. I better hang on to it. You better hang on to it. Alright, let's go look over here. Let's go look over here. Allergy free, no shedding. <laughs> oh, it's a kitty. It is, it's a robot kitty. Ooh, the view. Yup. And this is. Hi, is your name Yumi? Absolutely nice not. Who's asking? It might be. Are you going to order? What's your agenda here, stranger? Her voice I'm is so Nancy annoying. Mm, nope, never heard of you, but thank you for saying your name out loud. Oh, wait, Nancy Drew? As in friends with Bess and George and staying at the Ryokin, Nancy Drew? Or are there two of you? Which one is it? That's me, the friends with Bess and George. <sighs> Excellent. Yes, perfect. Get over here. Come on. You're learning to make bento the Yumi way. Come on, trust me, it's a life skill. Once you know how to make a good bento box, you pretty much got the whole world all figured out. You meet sure, a total stranger good. and Fantastic. tell them to make bento Here are for the you. Ingredients. You may notice that they run the gamut from pretty cute to insanely adorable. Yeah, I already know how to do this. Okay, very easy. Very easy. Customers will give you a list of what they want all right. and how they want it organized. Okay. And you pack it together. You won't believe how easy it is. Okay, I gotta go. What? Going? Where are you going? The store. Good luck. What? You'll what? Be fine. What? What? Be you meet a random stranger and you're like, hey, Wait. I'm gonna go. You do my job for me. Better get to work. Me? <laughs> what? I'd ask nicely, like, hey, can you do this? <laughs> but they'd be like, the no, fuck? and I'd go. Okay. So we need rice. Okay, we need a pig egg. We need pig rice here. And we need a rabbit. We need okay, so I can do any rabbit. We got a bear up there, we got rice and sandwich. And then we need fuck, we can't do that. Okay. Um crap. I got this. Don't even worry about it. We can do bun down here. And then what's in the middle? Bear egg. And then, like, anything here? Nope. Not anything. Hey, I did it! It was pretty cute. Thanks for helping out, Nancy. Well, you're back quick. Could you tell me a little bit about the Ryokons? I want to hear I'm not voice? into that sort of thing. Kind Couldn't of. you find a pamphlet? I was hoping for an insider's opinion. 
Oh, I get it. You want the dirt on the situation, right? Yes, exactly. Interesting. You're working some kind of angle here, aren't you? Not that it matters. Still, way too you busy done? to talk. Yeah. I know you're busy, There's but I helped you out with Bento, <laughs> and all I want is a little information. Okay. Mm -hmm. Surrounded by breathtaking views, you'll not soon forget the Ryoka Hie opens the door to a Ryokan Hie. Perfect for the business traveler hoping to experience traditional Japan or the family in search of that vacation. Ryoka Hie, discover Japan, discover you. That's persuasive, but not exactly what I wanted to know. Isn't it? That's mine from years back. I was thinking of going into advertising, but then I thought, nah. I was hoping you could tell me a little about some of the strange things that have been happening. Aha! If you really want to know. Oh no! I'm running out of bento boxes! Can you please go grab my backup stock from my apartment? This is the sort of thing that can move us from buddies to straight up besties. Sure. Straight up besties. <laughs> it's just over by the Kurume station. I could tell right away that we were going to be friends. Here's my key. Okay. Oh, and P.S. My number is 075-021-5855. Okay. Okay. Just your give your apartment key to me. That's cool. To talk to me. Whatever. That's the shocker of the decade. She's hesitant to talk to herself. What do you think of Rentaro? Other than that he should get a job at the nerd statue factory as their primary model? He's a good time. What do you think of Rentaro? There's something a little weird about him. Yeah, that weird thing about him is his personality. That kid is his own special kind of neurotic. <laughs> Always has been. But he's my fake little brother, so I'm used to it. Until someone brings it up, I forget how he must seem when you first meet him. What do you mean by Everything's fake popping. little brother? He first moved in next door when I was seven and knew I was five. He followed us around day and night. Okay. One day, when he was being a real pain to Miwako, she just snapped and punched him hard. It was bad news. My mother saw. After that, we had to be nice to him no matter what. At least when she was in sight. Eventually, he grew on us. Eventually? Especially Miwako. I met your sister <sighs> Miwako. You two seem pretty close. That doesn't sound like the impression you'd get by having a chat with Miwako. What are you trying to ask? Miwako seemed a little upset hey. about the real hey. Do you know anything about that? That's more her area of expertise. I've never been the go-to girl for the Ryoka. That place is the definition of repetitive. Guests come in, guests come out. It's brain-breakingly tedious. I don't know how Miwako puts up with it. What does Takai think of you working here? It's a phase. Aro snap out of it. Like I've been hypnotized and one day someone says the right word and snaps their fingers and Aro go... Hero, I am Yumi. One job running Ryokan, please. She's old school like that. Thinks the fun parts of life are a phase and the nasty parts are the bees and knees. Does he want to be What a yeah? Why else would she be there day in and day out? What that girl needs is to spend some time out here. A few weeks with me and my friends would be enough to shake her up and get her to have some fun for once. <sighs> Can you translate this article for me? Okay. How did you get this? You know what? I don't even want to know. Just go put it back. Jeez. Calm down, lady. Nancy, do you have my boxes? Not yet. Boxes, please. This is an emergency. Wow. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to her apartment to go get bento boxes. Very trusting. Very trusting. <laughs> uh. All right. Let's. Uh, I believe we go to Ego. Yeah. Kobe. Miyazaki. Roa. And Kurume. Kurume. It's... Oh. I got a call. Nancy, good news. We met Ryuichi, the creator of the Suki Cats. Thing is... He won't give away the secret phrases unless you buy one of the cats. All right, thanks for trying. But then the guy told George, for such a captivating, beautiful, gorgeous girl, he'd be willing to make an exception. You're turning red. Nancy, she's turning red. Am not. Anyway, there's a catch. He only shares secrets with the like-minded. 
He gave me this monster puzzle to solve, but I'm too busy with Expo stuff to solve it right now. Any chance that you could take a look at it? Sure. Anything for such a captivating, beautiful... Enough! I'll send it right over to you at the Ryokan. Alright. <sighs> How's Kyoto? How's Kyoto? Yumi's been showing me some of the coolest parts of town. The fashion here is crazy. Yumi took me to a store. I don't even know how to describe this place. It was pink. Really, really pink. It had the pink version of everything you could imagine. <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> Neither was I, but I was a little horrified. But then she took us to see the Gion District. So cool. She was a little grumpy that we wanted to see some traditional plays, but I think she had fun anyway. I'll let you go. Alright, it's Bye, either Nancy. Yumi, Rentaro, or Takei. Or Takai, whatever. Messages. Whoa. Nice. Oh god. George looks like a man. A very perverted man. Oh god. That's nice. Is this it? Nope. Uh, that's right, her door is pink. Unless it isn't, and I'm just being stupid. Yep, just stupid. <laughs> These must be what Yumi was talking about. <laughs> totally. <sighs> okay. Mm, let's investigate this place. Unveiling ghosts, paranormal investigations from around the world. Savannah Woodham. That's the author of this book. I should hang on to this. Having her phone number might come in handy. It looks like someone tore out one of the chapters. The music stopped. Oh god. All oh, the pink. To translate that. <laughs> Have fun with little foot. Every time I pet him, he just moves around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yo, you should come check out this girl's dresses. Are amazing. <laughs> Froggies. Ooh. Dear Maria. Jenny San she go Hachi Nana Toku I don't I don't fucking know Juichi Shadow puppets. A nice. Ooh, uh, ooh, uh. Avatars. Huh. D D. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Is it gonna be a swoopy? I'm scared. It's a spoopy! It's a spoopy! It's a spoopy! Guys, look out! It's a spoopy! 
Oh god. Oh, shut up. No, please. Stop. Go. Go away. What was that? That was beautiful. I'm so turned on right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's my kind of shit. Alright, um... Cool. Oh, she has anime posters. <laughs> Who doesn't? Let's go ahead and call this person. Savannah Woodham's office, Logan speaking. Can I speak to Savannah Woodham, please? Are you one of our interviews? Interviews? I'm Savannah Woodham's assistant. Is she interviewing you about the ex- No, I actually want to speak to Savannah about a book she wrote. Oh, great! I'm so glad you called- Really? Why is that? It's been like three days since I've gotten to hang up on anyone. I wonder if I'm still good at it. Holy shit. Oh, that is... That is savage. Did you just hang up on me? Oh, absolutely. Between you and me, it was awesome. In fact... Wow. That, that is... Mmm. Okay. Okay. I, I see how it is. Hi, Nancy. What's up? I found a strange book about ghosts in Yumi's apartment with a note from the author. What do you mean? It had a dedication from the author, Savannah Woodham, to the Shimizu family. But the really weird thing oh, is, there's a chapter the missing. That? What was in the missing chapter? Oh, nope, strike that. That is a dumb question. That's pretty strange. Maybe you can find another copy of the book somewhere. There's a business card with the author's number inside. But more importantly, the table of contents says the missing chapter was about the Ryukon. Weird. Did you call? I called Savannah, but she's got a really protective assistant. Yeah? Apparently, she's in Kyoto now, covering the expo for some tech magazine, so she's pretty busy. If I could get past I'm her so assistant, hungry. <laughs> I could finally figure out what this whole book is about. Wait, do you have so the guy at the expo? I'm pretty sure. Yes. Then we've got this one. We he do. likes having his cheeks yep. in the We're top of his head rubbed. And you are going to flirt up a distraction. I won't. am? Yes. If you oh. pet the back of his back leg, well, he'll put it down. At the very least, this will be interesting. Thank you. And if it's a mortifying failure or anything, which it might be, we do live thousands of miles away. Solid point. We'll keep you updated. I should so go. Cute. I'll Stop talk it. to you later. <laughs> talk to you later. Well... On that note, Mikey is over there playing with my turtle. Um, <laughs> if you liked this video, like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the original game and my other episodes on the game.